Dollar Tree blanks that you can customize and make your own personalized signs. I'm Jamie the Crafty DIY Guy. Welcome back to my channel. Alright you guys, as I mentioned, we are taking some Dollar Tree blanks and we are creating some customized signs. These are so much fun and the great thing about this is that you can do this with a Cricut, you can do this with stickers, you could do this with robot transfers, you could do it with stencils. So many different ideas and some very, very cool looking, expensive looking DIYs. Alright guys, let's get into the video. <laughs> And for my first project, we are going to take this Dollar Tree blank. I have these wood eggs that I picked up from Hobby Lobby, and I have these animals. So these uh, packets come with a bunch of different animals, and I'm going to be using this chicken. Then, of course, these blanks. These are brand new blanks. I love these blanks from Dollar Tree so, so much. And the first thing we're going to do is get our eggs painted. By the way, eggs are not the easiest thing to paint. They uh, roll around quite a bit, so so uh, be prepared to get a little messy with this. Now I'm just taking some white chalk paint and we're going to paint over our eggs pretty easily here. And um, <clears throat> I am just going to hold them at each kind of point and uh, we're going to just start painting them and then as they dry in between coats then I'm going to go in and kind of patch up those fingerprints that I kind of created on each one of those eggs. Uh, they they roll around a lot, even though they have that flat base on them, they definitely rolled around. So um, if you guys know of a way to paint these eggs without um, having them roll around all over the place, please let me know in the comments below because I would love to figure that out if I work with any more, um, any more wooden eggs in the future. So <laughs> once I've got all of those painted, I did take my heat gun and just kind of dry those out. And then we are going to start to work on our chicken. So originally I was going to use just antiquing wax on the chicken and just kind of stain it, but I really didn't like the way it looked. I wanted something that was going to be a little bit darker and kind of kind of go with that farmhouse vibe. So I took my ink chalk paint and went over top of the antiquing wax and um, didn't really love the color that it was kind of building up to. So I ended up just completely painting it black with my antique wax and I'm actually, or with the uh, black chalk paint and definitely Definitely happy with the way this looked once it was all done. Now for my Dollar Tree blank that I have here, I am going to drill some holes into it. Now I did already mark my holes and uh, I just did it with a, a very basic kind of ink pen. I'm going to add a piece of scrap wood underneath my blank because I do not want to drill into my workstation. I have done that a couple times already and uh, I found that this little Dollar Tree piece of scrap wood is actually perfect for doing this. So if you have one of those or you see them at your Dollar Tree, definitely pick them up because they do come in handy. Now I just went ahead and just drilled three holes into my blank very, very easily. And then I'm also going to take my three wooden eggs and I'm just going to drill kind of a starter hole into each one of those because I am going to be also screwing the um Oh, I'm going to be putting a screw into each one of the eggs to kind of hold the eggs because I want them to be nice and sturdy for the coat rack that we're creating. Now I'm not sure where that footage went of me putting the screws into the eggs and screwing them onto the wood piece but uh, I think you probably know how that worked. Um, I'm still <laughs> learning this brand new camera and um, yeah I don't know what happened to it. Now that I've got the eggs screwed onto my blank I'm going to go ahead and add my chicken. Love the placement of this guy. Love that it's kind of an offset here. This was actually inspired by something that I saw I believe it was either at Kirkland's possibly Hobby Lobby and uh, I just thought that it would be great. Now I did not like that blank space at the top so I took out my Cricut Joy and just made a very quick farm fresh kind of a sign and I love the way this turned out. If you did not have a Cricut you could easily replicate this by um, using just a paint pen or marker. Super super easy and love again the way that this turned out.
Now this next DIY, I'm gonna incorporate this jot chalkboard. I'm gonna add some beads to the back here, but I will say I ended up not using these beads and ended up going with something in a little bit different direction. So just the idea here is uh, still really solid. You know, you're gonna add some beads onto some twine. You're gonna glue them down to the back. I always like to add a dab of hot glue. I like to kind of sink my rope in there and then uh, just kind of add some tape on the back. Now for my decal here, I did use my Cricut once again and just wrote out the letter right or the words right. I wrote the word right. And then this is the beads that I added to the top. Super in love with this. Love the way this looks. Such a great chalkboard for my new office. Now for my next DIY, I'm gonna use this house blank. I really love these, think that they're super, super cute. I had this piece of uh, kind of boxwood wreath that was a leftover from the Target dollar spot and I took it apart and kind of un unwound it. I unwreathed it and uh, thought that this could be really cute going up the side of the house here. Now I am gonna trim it down just so it fits a little bit better. I'm gonna kind of play with the spacing, trim it up a little bit more if I have to. And then I'm going to kind of bend it, the uh, kind of following the roof line of the house. I'm thinking like, you know, a vine kind of trailing up the side of a house. Once I've got some glue down and that's in place, I did add another decal that I made with my Cricut. Now you could do this with stickers. You could do this with markers. I loved this. Thank you for helping me grow. Thought that this could be a really cool gift maybe for my mentor that I've got in real estate. So once I added that decal, I had a great, little house frame. I love the way that this turned out. I did add a little bit of color onto it with some little tiny floral pieces and again just thought that this was the perfect setup for my mentor and for their desk at work. So this last DIY is going to incorporate this tool set that I picked up at Dollar Tree in the plus section. This was three dollars and I thought it was such a great thing to grab and really thought this could be fun if I paired it up with these beads to kind of make it a little more personal. And uh, first we're going to go ahead and uh, take the wrapping off of the tools because uh, we have to get to the uh, kind of holder there and that is where we are going to create some magic with these beads. Now I'm not going to be using all of these beads. I'm going to kind of create like a little garland piece that's going to hang off of the side of my container here, my utensil holder here. Now you can play around with the beads and kind of figure out how many you want to use. I'm not going to be using all these and it's great because I can throw these into my stash and I can definitely use these for another time. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these. We're going to separate this out. I'm going to figure out how many beads I want. We're going to keep that on the strand, but I'm also going to keep that tassel. Now to prevent these from rolling all over, over the place, I am just going to throw these into my utensil utensil cup until I figure out the length that I want and then we are going to just trim it down and we're going to glue it to the inside of our utensil holder. Very, very easy and as you can see it creates a fun little piece that just kind of hangs off the side. Now I did want to make this a little more personal and I thought that I could add a very cute decal. Now once again if you don't have a Cricut or a Cricut Joy or anything like that this is not a big deal because you can get so many great stickers and rub-on transfers and paint pens and different things at Dollar Tree that you could very easily use to customize and personalize any of these blanks that I'm showcasing today. I've just got the Cricut Joy, so I've got a little Cricut fever, I guess, but um, this was such a great project. And how cute could this be for an open house gift or for a housewarming gift for a friend of yours that might be moving into the neighborhood? Super, super cute. Love the way this turned out. All right, you guys, that was it for today. Let me know what your thoughts are. I definitely have a favorite. I think the very first coat rack is by far my favorite. I'm not a farmhouse kind of a guy, but that is going to be something that's going to hang in my kitchen very, very proudly. All right, guys, let me know in the comments below which ones are, were your favorites. <laughs> if you are one of my long-term subscribers, thank you guys so much for being here. I truly, truly appreciate you. And uh, if you're brand new to the channel, hopefully you'll stick around and become a subscriber. All right, guys, take care. Bye-bye.